Hello everybody, this is Ultima Number, and welcome to Super Mario Bros, a game that I wasn't originally going to do, but I'm playing for a special reason. Now, I know this is an overdone game, and in fact, every game ever, especially Mario, is overdone, but I, the reason I want to play this is to celebrate the fact that I have beaten it a few months ago for the first time in my life, and I have mentioned this in my Paper Mario playthrough. This game holds a special place in my heart because, for many years, I've been trying to beat this game. Like, whether it be in school, on computers, or even on the original hardware, the like. I am playing this on emulator, Nestopia. I don't think the colors are exact, but they should be fine to you, right? But anyway. I'm playing this because, also because I want to celebrate, I wanted to celebrate my big brother's birthdays, and I want to play it on that day. And if you're watching this, Josh and Nick, I know, I know it's like, uh, four months, four, three and a half months late, but happy birthday. And I... And I, since, and I really do hope that maybe you two will, like, play this along with me, maybe two-player it, and if you could, record it. Especially you, Josh, I would really love you two to play multiplayer again. That's, like, the biggest enjoyment of my life, just you two playing multiplayer. I would love to see you two play this game. So anyway, here in this game... I normally suck at it, but I pretty much know where how to get one ups easily. Like, usually, normally I would go in that pipe for deep bonus coins, but there's a one up there, so that's that makes it all the worth it. I've learned that this game, the, if you have, if you can keep the fire flower, it's not really that bad, honestly. Like. When I played this game and beat it, I kept this Fire Flower until World 7. Or maybe World 8, I think, actually. It's amazing. Yay, the level with the infamous warp and the negative World 1 glitch. Keep in mind, I have beaten this without warps, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna beat this game without warps, and you're gonna like it. Oh yeah, uh, a few days ago, I think I mentioned this on, like, Josh, Nick, Jasmine, if you're watching, I have mentioned this on Facebook, I haven't really mentioned it anywhere else, but, recently I've played S Super Mario 64 Star Revenge Redone version 2.0.2, and I gotta say, that game is my favorite Mario 64 hack ever. Like, it's hard, but in a good way. I have also played Star Road, and that's hard in a bad way. Like, some level of Star Road doing it. Star Road's doing it wrong. I feel like Star Road's doing it right. But anyway, recently I have done a CCC list run, Cap Cannon coin list, in case anyone's unaware. And I swear, no one has ever done a CCC list run of that game. I've looked online, there's, like, no videos at all. <laughs> so, I guess that makes me special for doing it. Oh, by the way, don't go for this fire flower, or you will die. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> like, seriously. It's so easy to slip off blocks and just fall to your doom. Anyway, CCC lifts run up. Normally you need 65 stars to beat the hack. I got 67. That's that's the, that's the highest I've ever gotten. I was just about to give up when there, when I had only 63 stars because I couldn't think of any more things. But then I thought speedrunner tactics, and the speedrunner tactics work. Some stars actually, I actually did some shenanigans to do. I think some more stars are actually possible, actually, but I think they require, like, fly guy shenanigans. Like, it's completely random when he'll cooperate. I don't think... Like, if someone... Like, anyone who makes tasks, if you can hear me, 
if you're watching this, uh, if you, if you'd like to, uh, could you make a task or, like, a video in general to see if course number two, if more than two stars are possible CCC lists with that fly guy, or maybe some wall kick shenanigans, or maybe more stars are possible? I would love to see it. Yeah, I don't think these are the right colors at all, because the waffle's supposed to be red, not Zack red. Yay, I immediately lose the black flower, but I should get another one very soon, as long as I'm careful. Bowser's so easy in this level anyway. Or, excuse me, false Bowser. That's his official name, false Bowser. Six coins here. Not necessarily, not ne not good if you're going for points, but good if you're going for one-ups. It's just six coins, but hey, every coin counts. Am I right? Bowser, stop breathing. Bowser! I, I know you're excited, but please. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Okay, normally you're supposed to ride up that platform, but you can just easily jump over him. That sound always pleases me. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't get point bonuses for time here, but in Lost Levels, you do. Oh, 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 jeez, Lost Levels. I've played Lost Levels 2. It's, it's easily one of the hardest games I've ever played. It's not exactly Kaizo. It's like between Kaizo and Insane. Oh, jeez. Is there a beanstalk here? Nope, there's a one-up. I sacrificed my health for what for life. <laughs> Sounds like something you're gonna do. And yeah, another mushroom. Jeez, there's like mushrooms everywhere. And the rest are coins, I assume. Yeah. Jeez, they're handing out stuff like this like candy. Is there like a isn't there like a beanstalk here or something? Uh, I was right. I I didn't know about that. Oh, don't tell me this is a warp. Is it? If this is a warp, then uh, I'll do something. No, this is not a warp. It's a bonus coin area where I can get many, many, many one-ups. I think. Oh yes, yeah, stage stages like this are heaven in like lost levels because some of them actually send you backwards, and then you can access it again with the coins still there. Like the coins respawn. Because of this, and the fact that you go backwards, you can, like, get more than 100 coins before time's up, and potentially get infinite 1-ups, assuming you're good at the game. Which, I have been doing that, but it takes so long. I can never get the over the flag pole. Is it, like, frame perfect? Is it even possible? I know it's possible in Lost Levels because you actually are intended, or quote-unquote intended, because if you actually go past the pole and keep going, it's actually a backwards warp, which is bullshit. Uh, this is gonna suck without a fire flower. If you have a fire flower, take it slow. If not, I recommend speeding through this level. Like, I don't have a strategy for this level because I usually have a fire flower, but, but I don't, so whatever. Be careful of these hits, by the way. They're like root pools. They like suck you in. And you have to like mash like crazy to get out. They pull you in horizontally too, so beware of that also. I'm sure everyone's aware of this, but your worst enemy is the blooper in the stage. Especially in areas like that with rule pools. Pro tip, do not get the bottom three coins there. Because if Mario if so much as Mario's feet touches the bottom tile of the screen, you lose your ability to swim for some reason. Because I guess the vortex is too strong, I guess. Alright, let's begin a really, really horrible level, which for some reason was a good idea to bring back in Super Mario Bros. 3, and many other games, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, 
jumping cheap jeeps. Oh, speaking of fish. What what exactly is Big Bertha? Like I never heard of any fish being called Big Bertha. Well actually I have, but not in Mario. All I know is like Boss Bass, Bubba, and uh Cheap Chomp. Big Bertha. Oh, and Lunchfish. Can you guys tell me what Big Bertha is? I, I, could, I could look it up, but I'm not gonna. Uh, quick question. Were these things actually called Potaboos in this game? I know they're Potaboos anyway, but were they actually called Potaboos in this game? Because they don't have eyes. Stuff named. Who knows? I like how that fire disappears as soon as the block is on off screen. Does every battle bows Bowser Castle have six coins? Somewhere like that. Anyway, another easy thing. Just break these bricks. Wait for this. Oh yeah, I can just kill them with fireballs. Because it Normally, easier way, an easy way of defeating him is to run up here, so so he can't even touch you. Let me show that off. Well, of course, you expect this game to be so easy. I have eight lives, really. Jeez. Oh, it's the level with the infinite one-ups. If I can pull that off, I'm. I, I bet I'm gonna beat this game, because I'll have like 128 lives, because apparently that's the max you can have. If you actually go past 128, you like... The game like freaks out and doesn't know what to do, so he just kills Mario outright. Or not kill him outright, but as soon as you die, you game over instantly, because it doesn't know what to do. I could check all these pies, but I could be missing on one-ups. I won't miss on the infinite one-up trick, but... Oh, by the way, don't touch the water here. It acts like lava. You can't swim in it. The hammer bros. Of course, the hammer bros are your worst enemy in the game, and the worst thing ever in Lost Levels, because they actually move. They move forward rather than just sit there. That is the worst thing they could have done with a single enemy. Losing control sometimes. I am playing this with the keyboard. <laughs> of course I'm playing with the keyboard because all I have is broken controllers. I do plan to get new ones, but not for a computer. Oh, block. I think the most you can get out of these is 15, I'm not sure. I think the most I have gotten is 15. Okay, one up trick. Damn it. Well, no infinite one ups. <laughs> I would save state, but that I don't want to. I want to beat this game fair and square. And I guess the end of that one-up trick is is unfair, so there's that. Oh, I meant to jump on that guy. Because, well, not that I would get him one-up here anyway. I don't think most of you can get 5,000, I think, from that. 100, 200, 400, 800, 1,000, I think I would get him one-up doesn't, like, do the sprite limit thing. This game has a terribly low sprite limit. In fact, I don't even know what counts as a sprite. It's... Jeez, how many... Well, there goes that. How many stars am I gonna get? Or am I gonna find? I would appreciate if it was one-ups. Like I said, this fire flower is broken. If you can just keep it, just fire balls everywhere. Can I get? Can I get the flagpole? Obviously not, because it was too far away. Can you only do it on certain flagpoles? I I I think that's the case, obviously. Uh, I've always hated. Well, this isn't the level yet, but before emulate, before emulate, 
emulators was the thing I played on. The furthest I've ever gotten in this game was 6-4, I think, where Bowser starts throwing hammers at you, which is insane. Momentum in Have I mentioned the momentum in this game sucks? But hey, if you beat the original, kudos to you. Yay, first time they don't use a staircase. I think this is where you can do over the flagpole, because you can make those things higher than usual. But beware, if you break them, then you just fall to your doom. You do get a thousand points, though. Where's the lava, huh? I don't see lava. There's lava. Is there gonna be Potaboo? Maybe not. Oh, one of these. Just jump over them. I didn't touch that! And the worst thing is, there's no mushrooms in the stage. I did practice for his, for his game. Come on. Why can't I duck? Don't touch my hair. If, any, if anything touches my hair, I'll die. And yeah, dick. Which is completely un unsuccessful. I think I'll do one more world and that'll be the end of part one. Or there might be an erupt cut. I'll limit myself to like 20 minutes or something. Oh yeah, this is the stage where I have to run, run away. Because this asshole, he's a much bigger asshole in Lost Souls because he's lower. Like, I don't care about staying, I just want to run, run away. That's what I usually do with the lock of two levels. Just run. And not give a shit. I don't think any of these are mushrooms. Nope. How did I not get... How did I not die there? And that's the end of that. I think this is a coin block. Sure enough. So rather than going for coins, go for lives. And then jump off it. And get 5,000 points anyway. I think that's what they intended you to do. <laughs> Ooh, firework. What dick takes a... F dictates a firework in this game. I I have no idea. They're not even all that worth it, either. And not like they get you lives, they just get you points for style. Ooh, 4-2, the level I remember taking me the warp... with the warp to level 5. However, I think in the same world, you get a warp to level 8, maybe that is level 5. Not sure. Goomba! Or, excuse me, Gloomba, I think this is a mushroom anyway, there's a mushroom in here. Damn it. Well, I'm not smart anymore. I could go up there, but that takes me to the to warp to world 5. I think in the same, this level here, it, there's also a warp that takes you to world 6 or something. Damn it. Whoa, what was that momentum? Mushroom in here, please. Damn it! I'm so bad. I hate it when mushrooms are, like, pl placed in flood. Why am I trying to go down these pipes? I know there's a warp in here. In one of these pipes. Don't fail me. Even jump when your feet touches the bottom tile of a screen. Please. Yay, nothing. I, I get nothing. Good, I didn't die in that pitiful pit. <clears throat> I think a good stopping point would be roll 4-4. When I rescued Toad. Yay, actual mushrooms! Almost died there. I don't remember this game having actual mushrooms like this. Uh, beware these mushrooms, by the way. They're not platforms you can go through. Like, if you touch the side, you, like, your momentum, like, dies. Same with these. Same with these platforms. Like, why are, why are your skirters floating? 
In Lost Levels, they're not girders, they're like mushrooms. Are they mushroom girders? Sounds like that would be the correct thing. Sprites! I think if there's like four sprites, they flicker. Like, just four. That wasn't special at all. Mario, go in the back door, not the front. Because then you'll kill Bowser instantly and he'll never know. Shut up, cat. Ooh, this is the... This is the warp with... I mean, this is the castle with the thing, isn't it? Like, you gotta take... You gotta take a certain path, or else you, like, loop. You gotta go down here, because if you go in any of these two ways... Yeah. <laughs> They're just dead ends. Actually, I never took those paths, though. I don't know. Jump. This time there wasn't a platform, so I'm getting serious now. So anyway, this is... I'm gonna cut this part here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part where I will most likely finish this game or stop at World 7 or something. Alright, see you then.